we were here at the right moment to start this place and we were just lucky to have so many parents and friends help out uh, because otherwise without their, their help we couldn't have done it. Hello, how are you? Buenos dias. Bonjour, ça va? Hello. In the first campus at Sardis, it was a tiny little red schoolhouse with a little playground in the back, and it was behind the uh, church. And there were two teachers, Miss Amy and Miss Janet, and we loved going to school there. And it was tiny, but it was it was a lot of fun. As an American, I can not very proudly say that it's well known that we're very poor in our language skills. Around this place, you see teachers uh, from all over the world, you see children from all over the world. More than 20% of the students here have one parent who was born and raised overseas. The parents have chosen to give their children something special. Traditionally, English speakers have been very loath to learn a second language. Uh, we have expected the rest of the world to speak English. But Alex Horsley says these students will see past the narrow confines of our society. And because of it, they'll do better, he says, academically, professionally, and personally. By celebrating our differences in that way, we come together. Bonjour, madame. Comment allez-vous? Hello, alle Leute. What does that mean? Hello, everybody. Bonjour. gain an awareness of other people and other, other nations and their backgrounds and their heritages and their cultures. We are training children to be citizens of the world and not just citizens of one little corner of the world. That skill set that I learned here back in high school has been invaluable to me in my career moving forward. Having an international education, which is what our school and the International Baccalaureate program provides, is very essential in, in our new globalized world and I'm confident that the knowledge of culture and language that I've gained here will be very um, crucial to my success in the future. The school is a phenomenal place and its mission ultimately is to do something that is incredibly, incredibly challenging and difficult in that we're about educating children uh, to cope with, to survive in, to thrive in a world that doesn't even exist yet. And our curriculum, our teachers, our students, our faculty, our community are all striving to sort of bring together the concepts, the skills, the knowledge, uh, the human attributes that we believe are going to place our kids at the forefront of being able to not only survive and thrive, but also contribute positively to the world that they find around themselves 15 years from now. If you take our original mission statement and make it a little fancier and a little bit longer, uh, it says exactly the same thing today as it said then, and it's, as it's evolved over the years by new groups of leaders, uh, it has always remained the same. Uh, the values of respect and of diversity and knowing each other and caring about each other, all those good things. The values are still there. The values, to me, the most important thing is, is the respect. Respect for everybody, uh, no matter how different they are from you. And we are all richer for, for that, when we interact with people who are different. And to me, that, that has so many ramifications. It's respect from the teachers for the students, the students for the teachers. The, the parents, the administration, the community is, um, to me, that's, that's the most important thing in the school. 
The school history is the history of passion and participation.